Okay, uh, another command that I thought was pretty neat. I've I've struggled to find a, a good use for the P command, and I kind of made a funny uh, couple of jokes out of using it. Um, until I realized, until one day I needed to actually, you know, I, I've wanted to be able to, to do stuff like uh, get the head and tail of the log in one command um, and see both of them at the same time. Uh, so, you know, I mean, you can head a log and you can tail a log. Maybe you want to be able to see, uh, you know, what happened at the beginning and what happened at the end a little bit, but you want to see them at the same time and the same output uh, without having to run two different commands um, and having a prompt in between them or something. So I realized that I could use the P command for this. Uh, P is spelled P-E-E, -E, um, is basically like the T command, T-E-E, -E, where you can output to multiple different files and it sends the output to standard out after it sends it to a file. But this will send to multiple programs and run the programs. So just to give an example, I'm going to echo out the alphabet. And this is another thing that I've, I've been playing with recently. So I used a brace expansion with a quoted new line character. So it puts a new line after every um, letter. Uh, you'll notice it still puts a space indentation after each one. That's because the the brace expansion by default will add a space after each argument. So I can't. It's kind of hard to get rid of that unless I use pipe that into sed or something. But anyways, for the purpose of this, it doesn't really matter. Um, so I guess the first thing I need to do is install the p command, and that comes with a set of utilities called more utils. I'll just install that real quick. More utils has, as you can expect, several other commands that are useful as well. So it's worth installing and checking out the man pages of those commands. All right. So now I have the P command. And I'm going to cat out the alphabet, and just doing so will give me all the lines. And now I can pipe into P, and I can say head and tail. And so that gives me the first 10 lines of it, so that goes up to J, and then the last 10 lines at the same time. And if I wanted to, I could even reduce the number of lines. So let me say I just want the first three and the last four, maybe. All oh, right. Okay. Well, there's a there's a blank line at the end of it, so that's why you're seeing why the last four doesn't include W. Um, so that's that's a good use for the P command if you've ever wanted to do anything like that. <laughs> the next thing I'll show you uh, just real quick. Another command I posted was how to. Um, you know, I was I was curious to see which years had. November the 21st on Friday and this <laughs> you might be like what the heck but the reason why this came up is because the place where I work they had a poster up that showed that Bob Dole had come to speak at the uh, to give a speech they had a poster uh, for it and it said November Friday November 21st but it didn't have a year on it so we were trying to determine what the year was and I thought hey I can do this using the command line uh, which, you know, it was pretty powerful to be able to do this so quickly because other people would have thought, you know, I have to write a whole program or I have to jump through the calendar, you know, and, and uh, keep on tabbing through every, you know, November in the calendar and write them down and you might miss one or, or you know, see it wrong or something. So a little bit more way to be precise would be to, uh, and I'm going to do this a different way than I did in my tip. I'm going to use something called uh, zero width assertions in Perl regular expressions because I think they're really cool and uh, I haven't shown them enough 
and I haven't actually used them enough in daily activities. I, I need to get used to using them more so I can uh, do a lot neater things. So here I give it for uh, the years between 1970 and 2010 because um, that's all I cared about. I can give it a wider range if I want to. And if I just echo this out, you know, you'll see it'll just print out all those years. But we want to do a little bit more than that. So here I'm saying uh, I want to display the date based on it being a certain date. So I use the year that I just generated along with 1121, so November 21st. And I want to display it as the day of the week, which is percent lowercase u. And I also want to put in the year. And this is an example of where you get data and you throw it away. Um, and you do this from time to time just because it gives you some context to be able to get what you really want. And that's kind of what zero assertions are all about. Um, forward and reverse assertions in, in Perl regular expressions. They're basically a way of seeing the context around what you want to match without actually matching that context. So if I, you know, if I have foo bar and I want to match bar, but only if it's preceded by foo, then I would use a um, look behind zero width assertion for that. So um, you can look at the man page called PCRE and search for look behind assertions and uh, it'll give an, uh, an explanation of it. So now I'm going to pipe this into grep and at first I'm just going to say you know do a Perl regular expression search and the syntax is a little funky. These first four characters you know that's where you tell it that you want to do a look behind assertion and you can kind of tell that it means look behind by this arrow and so just to give you an idea of what the output is going to look like it's going to look like that so every day of the week is going to be a number where the number five indicates Friday And so I'll do the search and I'll say Friday dash. So look for any line that has Friday dash, but I only care about what's after it. So this dot star means give me everything that's after it or anything that's after it actually. And this is only going to match when it's the number five and dash. So you can see by the color highlighting that grep does by default in this version it's matching only this but it's using this context of five dash before so that's a very powerful way of doing that and I can get just the year by using dash O which means only um, show what you actually matched and that works in conjunction with the zero width assertion to give me just what the match is so that just gives me the year so that's a really handy uh, trick to use and I hope this shows you know how powerful regular expressions can be um, when using conjunction with just date. You know you can answer questions about things that you thought that you'd have to write a whole program for, but you can just do do a really quick command line like program. All right, well I hope to do some more of these uh, variety shows. Maybe I'll do them like once a month or once every two months, just to kind of maybe take an hour and, and go over some cool things that we've done recently. Uh, let me know whether you thought that this was too boring or, or took too long of a time. This first time I'm sure it took too long and I probably rambled on and spent too much time on things that uh, weren't important. Okay.